Hello, hello. Welcome to the new and improved turret of pleasure here in the enchanted kingdom of Hermione. We're adding, we're adding shelving and removing windows. We want to be completely isolated from the world up here and to deal with the giant onslaught of new intakes from the thrift stores to the great CD library. Uh, Today I'm not really going to talk about a CD. I'm going to talk about a record and a CD, I guess. Um, I don't get to talk much about new stuff because there's not really that much good new stuff out there, to be quite honest. Uh, at least I don't run into it. I know it's out there. I just don't find it. But uh, today I want to talk about something that I don't think a lot of people have heard that I think a lot of people that watch this channel would really like. And that is the album, and I would, I'm tempted to call it the new album, but it's not that new. Mm. Chisk from Malta. Excellent. Um, this is from at least a year ago now. And I, I'm going to give you the big picture. There it is. Look at this cover. Beautiful wax. Compressor head. Party machine. Now, some of you are going to go, who the hell is this? Why? There's a there's band shots. There's some band shots. Now, this is not a brand new idea. But what has happened here, and I've always been fascinated by this stuff, but is some techno knot somewhere decided to make a rock band out of robots and they decided to make the rock band actually play the instruments they would merely be programmed by master programmers and they would uh, basically just perform their duties like real robots and this was the brainchild of a bunch of guys and I don't know their names I didn't do any proper research I should have I know I never do. I just listen to the music and go, yeah. But there's going to be... Oh, yeah. Well, it says here, compressor head is Mega Watson on vocals, Helga Tahar on guitar vocals, Fingers on guitar, Bones on bass, Stick Boy on drums, and Jay Schmidt on hi-hat and vocals. Now, I can't remember who's what here. Frank Barnes, Marcus Kolb, um, Miles Van Dorsen, Mr. Stock. These people all were involved. There's people from all over the world, Germany and Australia. Anyway, the, the question came, well, what should we make the robots play? And the, the idea came that they, they should play original music. Well, who should we get to write this original music? And as it turned out, some of the principals, or one of the principals, I'm not sure the exact story. I should know all this, but I don't. Um, they were really big ha fans of the Hanson Brothers. And they were big fans of Motorhead and the Ramones and, you know, hard rock, punk rock. So they got in touch with very recently retired No Means No drummer, Mr. John Wright, who was in the middle of the 16 months from hell renovating his restaurant in Powell River, which uh, the, the, the Wildwood, which you want to go to if you ever go there. They make fantastic pizza. They serve wonderful beer. They're excellent people. And it's just as good a night out as you'll have anywhere. So while he was basically preparing for life after rock, as we might call it, this project came along and they wanted him to write the music. And he says, well, you know, he can do that like falling off a log. And so in due course, he came up with a group of songs, one of which was an old Tom Holliston song from the first Show Business Giants record, My Girlfriend's a Robot. And apparently that had to be on the record. That was the one thing. Got to do that. That was the whole thing that made it work for them. And they do the, these bots are made for rockin', which is, of course, a version of these boots are made for walking. And then a bunch of fine, rather silly, you know, compressor head, 
speed walking ladies, zombies versus robots. These people live, like to dance. Gen generic. It is the perfect combination to make this very short. Oh, there it goes. Bad Fuck him. Oh, we better stop it. Oh, oh geez. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, no, it's too much. It's too much. Um, It's the perfect combination of Motorhead and the Ramones with the Hansons mixed in, I guess. It is indeed played by all the robots. The only human being on this LP is John Wright's voice. If you like the Hanson Brothers, you are going to love this record. It's really good. It was recorded uh, it, it, where the robots live or lived. The Robocross Rock Shop, Berlin. In collaboration with Geezer's Palace Studio. Yeah. Um, and then I do believe, uh, and somewhere in the woods near Lund, BC, which I'm going to guess was John's place where he did the vocals. It sounds like a million bucks. The production on this is exemplary. Uh, got the CD as well. I'm very, I'm connected, so I got both of them. I play the CD all the time. The record, I don't know if I've played it yet. It is, to be sure, beautiful German vinyl. Now, there ain't no better vinyl in the world than German vinyl, I think. I like it. It's got that rough edge. You'll never drop this record. Look at that beautiful wax. And this is probably a cheap German pressing. What does it say in the grooves? Show. I can't read it. Showbot shoot. Reading, writing. I can't read that last word. I always love it when they scratch stuff in the dead wax. Um, now, where do you get this? I haven't got a clue. It was on... It was released in Germany, I guess. The, the, the thing about this that really irritates me, probably more than anything, is the fact that were this to have the clout of, say, Sony, or, uh, you know, Warner Brothers, or whomever, this would be huge. They have played live shows. The live shows are they're spectacular. Um, it's a It's a... Uh, it's a great idea. I can't believe they're not super famous. Instead, we get to, you know, we get to listen to what the industry deems to be popular. And stuff like this dies. I had heard a rumor recently that the band had broken up, which really bummed me out. That turns out to not be true. The band is, is having a bit of a regeneration. A couple of the principals have moved on. Uh, and... John and I forget who the other one is. Uh, they're going to retrench, uh, build, bring in a couple of new members, which will take time, of course, and they will continue. And that made me really happy to hear. In fact, I heard it today. Um, if you are a fan of No Means No, Motorhead, the Ramones, the Hanson Brothers, or goofy sort of whatever you want to call it, techno-focused rock and roll music, you should buy this. You will love it. It's even been... They're sponsored by Initiative Musique GmbH with project funds from the federal government, Commissioner for Culture and Media. What I think they're trying to tell me is that this is partially funded by the German... Canada Council or the German factory or whatever it is. Carry Carry Cool? I think they really have a label name on it. That's odd. It has an owl with headphones on as a logo and it says Carry Cool. I haven't got a clue what that means. It's not on here. I don't know. I'm going to say it's on Kerry Cole Records, and that's just that. But that's because I'm a record nerd. Buy this. It's fantastic. Yeah, that's all I can say. I'm even wearing my dirty compressor head shirt, even though I've been working up here all day sawing wood, and it's dirty. Anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll get back to you with new stuff. There's other crazy things that have come up. 
Uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the bell for the notifications and uh, you'll get all of these things. Whether they're any good or not. Anyway, take care. We'll talk to you again.